George, E equals mc squared is actually a consequence of Einstein's theory of special relativity. It concerns energy and it concerns mass, two quantities that in everyday life seem to be completely different. On one hand, you have mass. You hear people talking all the time about how heavy something is in terms of grams and kilograms. And on the other hand, you have energy. It's the ability to do work. You need energy to walk, you need it to turn on your television sets, and you need it to power your cars. Einstein realized that they're actually one and the same. You can convert mass into energy and energy into mass. In his equation, the energy contained in something is equal to its mass multiplied by the speed of light squared. Light travels at approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. With a number this large multiplied by mass, you can easily see how something small like an apple or even an atom can contain a lot of energy. That's why nuclear weapons and nuclear energy don't require a lot of fuel. They are the direct results of E equals mc squared. In 2008, nuclear power provided 14% of the world's electricity. We also see Einstein's relativity in things like satellite navigation, GPS, chemistry, cosmology, any time you're talking about high energies and high velocities. So it's simple, understanding E equals mc squared is not exactly rocket science.